Guys, I have been AFK farming candy all night. I just closed down my game that was farming. Uh, we're going to log on now and see how much candy we've actually gained. Oh my god! We have that much candy from doing, like, nothing? Yo, guys, what is up? Today, uh, I'm going to try and reattempt a tournament based on your guys' suggestions. And also... I will watch until the end because I'm going to show you guys how to AFK farm candy. And guys, this is insane. I got so much candy and you'll see that later on in the video how much I got. Okay, alright. So, one thing that I realized from the comments. Some of you guys were telling me to use some guy called like Asushi or something. But he's one of the Bungo Stray Dogs units and I don't actually have him. But I've realized the tournament is water buff. I completely forgot about the water buff and just went all out. Let's use Stain. That's what I was doing, but, 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 because it's water buff, we can use Poseidon. Yes. Now, I know we're missing out on the fact that, uh, you know, we don't have everyone getting bled now by the full AoE, but I feel like we can get a lot of benefit from having Poseidon in here, because he's going to do 200% extra damage, so that is going to be like, what, uh, let's, like 60k on placement? Is that 60k on placement? Poor Poseidon, about that. Um, someone said get rid of Griffith and have Amelia as well. So we're going to try that. I don't know how well that's going to work, but someone said it's more worth it. So we're just going to see. Uh, this is based on all your guys' comment recommendations. So let's get into it. Okay, and we are in. Let's do this, boys. I'm not really sure like, what order to place people and where to place Poseidon. I assume he will be put up against the wall like there. But I don't know, man. I have no clue. It's very rare that I actually use Poseidon. Let's put him here and see what he does. Yeah, okay. He one shots. That's fine. Okay, that is cool. So, we are going to have, like, the ultimate slow build. I don't even know if we should have Stain in this, to be honest. Maybe we should have had Griffith over Stain. Oh, my God. That's a shout. Oh, we should have had Griffith over Stain. That would have been insane. I'll do a second attempt after this and just see how that goes. But I won't show the whole thing unless it's really, really successful or something. I don't know. But uh, for now, we're going to try just this attempt. Because this is my first thought process right here. Let's slow these guys down. Let's upgrade our Bulma. The only thing I'm worried about is like... Uh, flipping Poseidon has such slow attack speed, man. And he's expensive to upgrade now that I think about it. Like, really expensive. I hope this Poseidon hits this... Black Ops trainer here, yeah. Almost got enough to upgrade Bomi again. They are slowed. Dead. Oh, we just about missed the new wave. I wanted to upgrade Bomi before that, but... Okay, uh, so let's get our other for Poseidon, like, here. And now, let's get our Homura. I think we can put her, like, there. That's a good spot, to be honest. Uh, start getting our all wins down. We're just gonna hold out here. Do our infinite buff. Focus all on that for now. And we'll upgrade this Poseidon. He'll get Circle AoE in a second, which will be nice. A lot easier to hit. Cone AoE is like the worst. Yeah, Circle AoE now. I'm hoping that his full AoE will reach over here, but I actually have a feeling that it won't, unfortunately. I don't think it will reach all the way. We're going to get one Poseidon up to full AoE, and then we're going to start upgrading our Homura for the stuns. And I also just forgot that we even have Stain on our team. This sucks. I really wish we brought griffith now i don't know why we brought stain oh look he got a lot of range just then but i still don't think still don't think he's gonna quite make it should place an amelia here to be honest where is this guy here he is yeah that's full aoe now that is insane uh, he's doing 432k damage which means with the griffith buff he would have been doing like 800k right now that would have been awesome is this his final upgrade i don't remember how many upgrades he has no he has more nice and he's almost reached over here. But I think the next upgrade is the last. And it only increases his range by one. So, uh, yeah, he's not going to make it, unfortunately. Not all the way to here. Maybe he might chip, like, the side bit. But definitely not the corner. I have no clue, to be honest. Now we can start bringing his homeware to get her up to infinite time stop. If this somehow beats my stain strategy, I will be impressed. Okay, we have an infinite time stop now. Nice. And we have a second Poseidon up to full AoE now. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't feel like we're breezing through this as fast as we did with Stain. But again, could be the Griffith buff. It's not a fair comparison unless we have the Griffith buff. And who knows? Maybe it's better for the late game bit. 
Here though, could you please die? That'd be really helpful right now. Please. Just die, man. Just give up. Yeah, okay, thank you. I need 200 kills still, and these guys are dying slowly. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. It just attacks so slow, man. I'm so upset by how slow Poseidon attacks. Let's place this stain down and get at least one up with Blood Curdle. I mean, having the slow and the time stop is nice. I'll, I'll give them that. I mean, we are killing things. Oh, man. I've just seen that clone down there at 10.2 million health. Oh, my Jesus. As you use Blood Curdle whilst he wasn't stunned. I'm inting. I'm inting. Can we get a time stop on him, maybe? Yeah, time stop. Now, we're going to need some, like, magic here to take this guy out because he's just... He is tanky as frick. Come on, Stain. Okay, we're going to hit him with that. Hopefully, when that runs out, he's time stopped, right? Surely, he's time stopped. Yeah, okay. All right, now, all, all of the Poseidons just attacked. And this clone is not dead, which makes me worry a little bit. If he can... If you can stay there a second longer. Oh my god, Stain just finished him off. Oh my god. Stain W. Common Stain W. Common Stain W. That is why I love Stain. Unfortunately, these guys look like they're going to get through anyway. If we did have Griffith buff, this could have been very different, I think. I actually think we can beat our record maybe if we had Griffith buff. Come on, Stain. I know you can do that much damage, especially with this dark buff on. I know you can do it. Hit him one more time. Yeah, do it. Oh, I almost used it whilst they weren't bleeding. Stun that. This might be it. Uh, we're not going to get much more kills than what we've got right now. Because they're all so tanky right now. That guy is leaking. We're on a, we're on a time, time period here. Can we even get any more kills right now? Look, they're all so tanky right here. But if we had double damage, all these guys on half health would be dead right now. Is what I'm thinking. That is my thought process. The guy that leaked was on like half health. So maybe. But then we wouldn't have Stain. We would have to get rid of Stain for Griffith. There's no other option really. Uh, we might beat our score by one. Maybe. If Stain can kill this guy before we lose. Which is like right now. Stain. One more hit. Okay. All right, we beat our score by one. Uh, that is an improvement. And that shows me. Oh we beat our score by like three. That shows me that there is potential in this build for improvement. I was bashing it. I was like I don't think it's going to work. But it could work. We are currently beating our score. 653 kills. 654 kills. Let's go guys. That is a huge improvement. And now I'm going to try it again with Griffith. But you guys will probably only see like the late game of that. Just because I don't want to waste your time. This is not looking good for us, though. This is looking worse than last run. Dude, can you get time stopped already? Yeah, like, and can we attack? Can the Poseidons decide to just, like, wake up maybe a little bit and actually attack? Because this guy is gonna leak otherwise. Attack! Come on. Please, bro. Come on, man. Oh, my God. Right on the edge. Oh, my God. That was close. That was too close, actually. This guy's, this guy's gonna make it through. This guy's leaking, man. Look at him, 10 million health. How are we meant to deal with that? I don't understand. How have we dealt with that in the past? I might plop the Griffith. I might do it. I'm gonna plop the Griffith. How bad is he? <laughs> he's garbage. Maybe I placed him earlier. I don't know. He's actually, he's actually bad. <laughs> They've got magic resistance. Oh my God. No, I didn't realize it's magic. Oh my God, it's over. It's over. Well, this run's a doo-doo. I don't think we would have got higher with that Poseidon run, to be honest. It was just... We would have got, like, the exact same at best. Um, yeah, not much we can do there, to be honest. Let's go back to lobby. I swear I've seen this guy. I've seen this guy before. I don't know where. I've, like, actually seen that guy somewhere. Like, that exact dude. Um... Yeah, we're 91%. We're almost at 95%, but uh, I don't know if we're going to make that. But now we are going to show the bit of the video that you've probably all been waiting for. And that is how to farm candies in the Halloween event AFK. Right, so basically, boys, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want a tiny task. Yes, you need tiny task. You need tiny task for like every AFK thing. And you don't want to open it yet, or you don't want to start recording yet. I'll tell you when you to start recording. So you're going to go over here to the Halloween rewards. Uh, also, before that, one thing I'd like to mention is have a team on with loads of Halloween skins. So you can get all those buffs. This is the one I use. Uh, 
Uh, okay, I just moved a bit. Uh, you don't want to do that. <laughs> don't move. Okay, now open up your tiny task, okay? And you're going to want to click record or press the recording hotkey. And you want to go bam, boom. So you've started it, right? Bam. Uh, and what I like to do is I like to just sort of drag units out and about like this. Just like anywhere near me. I'll just keep doing that like bam, bam, bam. Bam, just all around me. They might get some kills. They might not. They don't need kills for this, by the way. Just in case you're wondering. And god damn, I have plus 100% boost now. That is awesome. Uh, pick one of these. Like, uh, oh, free, plus free enemy shield. Okay, I'll pick that. Uh, boom. And what you're going to want to do is just keep it recording. Keep it recording. Wait for this. Like, wait for yourself to lose. Uh, I don't know how long that will take, to be honest. Don't know how long it will take for me to lose. Um, and make sure you're clicking any of these that pop up. So if these pop up, just click it. Boom. Bam. Okay, alright. So as you can see, I've lost here. And remember, we're still recording. We haven't stopped our recording yet. So you're going to click next. And then you're going to click replay. And then at that point, you're going to end your recording. And boom, you're done there. And in tiny task, you want to set the play speed to 100 times. And you want to enable continuous playback. Right? 100 times speed, continuous playback. And then you run it. And it will work. Uh, I set up this one yesterday, so I don't know if it's still going to work. But if it does, then we'll see. If not, then we won't see. Yeah, so as you can see, now my dude will just constantly place around. And you don't need kills to get candy. I just like doing it because I get a little bit more candy. So as you can see, I've placed down candy here. I'm not moving my mouse at all. This is all tiny task. It's just like, bam, bam, bam. Place the guts all the way over there for some reason. I don't know why, but that's fine wherever to be honest only one of them is actually going to be doing damage by the looks of it and as you can see well as you can see it should have selected that candy thing but i guess not um yeah this is just how i do it i mean it, you get candies either way even if it doesn't select it and yeah that's it guys i have been afk farming candy all night i just closed down my game that was farming uh we're gonna log on now and see how much candy we've actually gained Oh my god! We have that much candy from doing, like, nothing? Guys, I got all that candy whilst I was asleep and at university. This is insane! Okay, alright guys, we're gonna open up loads and loads of capsules today. We can buy 100 straight off the bat, another 10, and another 10. How far are we off pity? We're still very far off pity, so we're not gonna hit pity. But guys... I did nothing for the, all of this. I just AFK'd. Oh, look, we can buy another 10 as well because we just sold all those skins. Right, let's get lucky. Let us get lucky, boys. We're going to be opening up 130 capsules. Let's go. Dude, imagine if on the first one we got a mythic. That would have been insane, man. Homaru. Okay, we already have the Homaru skin. Let's see. Come on. Give us a mythic, our first Halloween mythic this video. Please! We're about to be halfway there to pity. Okay, alright, that's fine, that's fine. Still have 90 more to go. 90 more chances to get a mythic. It's gonna appear at one point, and I will scream. Another Giggle Mesh legendary skin. I don't even have Giggle Mesh, bro. Flipping get out of here, Giggle Mesh. Lore, Halloween. I didn't even realize. Tatsumaki! Okay. I don't even, I don't have those skins. Uh, I need to Evo my lore. There is so much stuff I need to do with anime adventures right now. My inventory is full. Nice. Okay. Let's get rid of all these. Okay, we got rid of all those. And let's continue. 60 more capsules. Come on! A mythic. Just a singular mythic. Just a singular, singular mythic. Come on, boys. Just let me see that yellow. I don't know if luck potions count towards these. I don't think they do. That would be insane if they did. No, nothing yet. Still no nothing. Saber. I think I have that skin, but I don't... I don't have Saber, so... <laughs> I'm missing so many units! Come on! Give me something, man! Something that I can use. Final 10. This is it! It's now or never! And apparently it's never. We can actually sell a few skins, though, and get another 10. And then... Uh, that will have Alucard in, and that will be W's all around. Boom. Okay, alright, let's go buy another 10. How am I looking on the leaderboard? Still at 21. Wait, still at 21, or did I go down? I feel like I've gone down. 
Okay, uh, another 10. Let's go. This is it. This is the one. Come on, boys. We're 110 off Mythic P. So if we do this one more night, which I probably will do every night from now on, um, we can get Mythic P tomorrow. And we got absolutely nothing. Oh, wow. We got so much Battle Pass XP as well. Okay, all right. Well, let's go run, roll on Isagi. We got 5.8k gems as well now. Uh, come on, Isagi. Give us unique. We've had bad rolls. No, oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, that sucks. That, that sucks a lot. So, guys, that is it for the video. That is how to farm candy super fast. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to comment down below what you want to see me do next out of that list that I gave you earlier. Uh, I think it was Evolve Meliodas, Evolve Lore, Farm Candies, or Farm the Tournament, or even go for a sushi, or whatever you guys call him, the Moonlight Beast guy. Uh, but yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and comment if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.